if you would like to enter to win a Force FX lightsaber, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on, and tell me in the comments what your all-time favorite saber is. The most acclaimed Jedi Master in possibly all of Star Wars was not always as such, as there was a time too when Yoda was not the Master of the Jedi Order, and when he himself was a Jedi Learner. In today's video, we will discuss how the Jedi Master that would aid in the training of such great Jedi as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker became a Jedi himself. In canon, Yoda was discovered and brought to the Jedi Order as a youngling. Yoda, similarly to the Jedi Anakin Skywalker, caused ripples throughout the Jedi Order, as he himself had an unusually high midichlorian count and was extremely, extremely Force-sensitive. Yoda would train for years until eventually constructing a lightsaber of his own and being placed under a sole Jedi Master. Yoda's master taught him a great many things about the Force, including the exploits of famed Jedi of the past. Over time, Yoda became a noted Jedi Knight, and at the age of around 100 was gifted the rank of Jedi Master. Above all other tasks, Yoda loved the training of other Jedi. Yoda took great pride in aiding his brothers and sisters of the Order reach their goals of becoming Jedi themselves. Near the end of his time focusing on the training of students, Yoda was estimated to have successfully trained around 20,000 Jedi Knights. Yoda's last personal student before the Jedi learner Luke Skywalker would seek him out was the Jedi Dooku, who Yoda personally trained to knighthood, and who himself would later become a Jedi Master. Following the completion of Dooku's training, Yoda's attention was mostly dedicated to his role as Grand Master of the Jedi Order, and governing over the affairs of the Council and the affairs of the Jedi as an entirety. However, Yoda still did take time to train the younglings of the Order, who would include Obi-Wan Kenobi and Kanan Jarrus, who at the time was known as the Jedi learner Caleb Doom. In Legends though, the story of the Grand Master is different, as he was not found by the Jedi at a young age. Being born in the Outer Rim, Yoda wished to venture to the Inner Worlds and seek simple employment. However, on his way, his ship was badly damaged, and after several days of float in space, he crash landed on a nearby planet a planet that was called Dagobah. On this planet, Yoda encountered a Jedi Master called Nakak Del Gormo, who informed him that he held a very strong connection to the Force that Yoda had been totally unaware of prior. The Jedi Master then experienced a vision of Yoda, as he told him he would do the galaxy much good as a Jedi, and that great things were in store for him. Because of this, Yoda agreed to undergo training as a Jedi Knight. For a time, Yoda trained with the Jedi Master on Dagobah until being picked up by a Republic cruiser and being brought to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Eventually, Yoda would ascend to the rank of Jedi Knight and became highly acclaimed throughout the Jedi Order for his inherent skill in the Force. At the age of 96, Yoda was given the rank of Jedi Master and also allowed to join the Jedi Council. It was also during this time when Yoda took on an apprentice of his own, his first of many. Yoda would successfully train several Jedi Padawans to knighthood and seek out other Force sensitives throughout the galaxy to participate in Jedi training. Yoda also led several notable battlefield engagements, although he never favored battle, although he would never shy away from it when the time arose. One day, one of Yoda's students came dangerously close to the dark side, nearly killing another with his lightsaber. Because of this, the student swore off the use of the weapon for years. After decades, Yoda became not only acclaimed but legendary among other Jedi, as they cited him among the greatest Jedi who had ever lived, including him with the likes of Nomi Sunrider and other Grand Masters. Over time, Yoda and the other Jedi noticed a mysterious shift in the Force, as what had once been clear became clouded and difficult to see. The pure state of the light side was almost filled with the line of contention. This sudden shift in the Force greatly terrified the Jedi Order, as many Jedi declared that dark forces long dormant were once again stirring in the outer reaches of space. Other Jedi claimed it was the return of the Sith and movement of the Dark Side, while others felt the Dark Side was rising in a much different form. Yoda himself suggested to the other members of the Council that the Tremor may have been a sign of the long foretold Chosen One and his arrival in the galaxy. It would only be a short while later until the slave boy Anakin Skywalker would appear before the Jedi Council. But that is how the Grand Master of the Jedi Order and potentially most powerful and greatest Jedi to have ever lived became a Jedi Knight himself. 
But leave your thoughts on this in the comments below, and which story do you prefer? Do you prefer the canon depiction or the legends depiction? Also, do you think that a Yoda anthology movie could ever work? Or are you glad just seeing his story told elsewhere? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. May the force be with you, and have a great day.